Good evening, everybody. Temperatures, some rain showers, even had a little wintry mix in some areas today. Let me show you what's out there right now. We've got clouds pretty thick around Bloomington to Linton to Vincennes. Skies cleared for most of us for the sunset tonight. That was actually kind of nice to see, but we've got the clouds that have moved back in. It's 30 in Rockville, 30 in Casey, 35 right now uh, down in Robinson in Crawford County. As far as wind chills go, they're down in the 20s in most areas, so it's going to stay chilly outside tomorrow morning. You're going to need the jackets, of course. But it's not that bitter cold that we've had. We had wind chills below zero last week. Single digit actual temperatures were not going to be that cold tonight. Matter of fact, we're anticipating lows tomorrow morning, 6 to 8 a.m., about 19 degrees. At that point, your wind chills will be down to anywhere from 10 to 15. I mean, it's still cold, but compared to what we've been dealing with, this is actually going to be a normal or dare we say mild week this week compared to what we've uh, had to deal with. As far as the big picture, you can see these snow showers that we had this morning actually were rain showers in the southern portion of the viewing area. Wintry mix in portions of Owen and Monroe County, Eastern Greene County saw that today as well. A few new slick spots for the short term and then we up above freezing most of the afternoon. And everything just got wet and slushy. I think this is the bad part about having snow is that it gets kind of yucky outside as far as the slush, the snow, things just getting wet above freezing. But we're below freezing again tonight. We'll stay there. Skies above again while they're cloudy, not producing any snow showers for us. No flurries either. We really look to stay out of that department tonight. A few of you may get a couple flurries, but for the most part, nothing to measure. Skies are going to try to clear by morning. We'll do uh, 20 degrees in the morning. Winds out of the north. The 19s will be out there. Wind chills 10 to 15 in the morning. Some sunshine expected tomorrow, but notice this blue batch of stuff in northern Indiana. That's going to be another clipper-like system that stays just to our north and does look to produce some minor snowfall accumulations from Lafayette to Kokomo, everything north of Indianapolis in the state of Indiana. Again, it's going to be around tomorrow afternoon, but we look to stay just south of that. We drop down to the mid 20s for Wednesday morning, so the middle of the week, just about as cool as what we're going to find tomorrow morning. In the afternoon, near 40 degrees, a little more sunshine there. A nice midweek forecast to see some sunshine back and get temperatures back to average. So our forecast goes like this 19 tonight, just a few clouds. It's overall still going to be cold, but compared to what we've been dealing with, these temperatures are average. They're kind of mild compared to what we had last week. Winds are going to be out of the north, but watch the winds. They, they, they do some changes on us out of the north tonight. Southwest tomorrow. That'll bump us up to 40 degrees. Couple in some sunshine there, and we do see temperatures a little bit warmer. 24 partly cloudy with northwesterly winds. I mean, the winds are all over the place this week. They're out of a mild direction. They're out of a cold direction. They're going to be changing direction almost each day. Seven day forecast. We get into the middle of the week, and again, by Thursday, we see a high of 48. Lots of 40s, though. Today, we were at about 42. Tomorrow, 40. Wednesday 40, Friday 40. There's that one hot spot there at 48 on Thursday. Then again, 51 on Sunday. Two warm fronts, Patrice, that are both going to give us rain. The one on Sunday that you see there on the right-hand side of your screen, that one looks to give us a chance for thunderstorms as we get into 51. But remember, last week it took us 65 degrees before we got into some real heavy thunderstorms, so I don't think it'll be that bad.